Welcome back to the channel guys, tool reviews of tools I use. With all the tool reviews I've been doing recently, I came to the realisation that I've got a whole load of anti-vibe hammers by Stanley and I, I had no idea that I'd actually amassed all of these. Um, I just find them good hammers. As, as I've seen them in the shops come along, I've just picked them up over the years without realizing the ones i had before and i i've got a big collection of hammers i've got a whole bunch of them i just can't seem to say no to them uh, knives hammers watches lighters there seems to be the things that i really like oh and spanners wrenches I absolutely love wrenches as well i just keep buying them uh but i'm going to try and stop now i've got to end this uh I, I do like these stanley hammers i like the handles on them i like the overall anti-vibe aspect of them they, they do seem to make a bit of a difference but i would trade any of those for the quality of something like an s-wing i really like s-wing hammers uh, this one I, t I tend to just have on display more than use but uh, but i've got other s-wings that are my pr pretty much my go-to hammers uh, but i'll take you through these ones today anyway and see what you think of them uh, i've got a claw hammer i believe this is 24 ounce it's got a big heavy head on the end of it it doesn't look particularly so in the uh, the video but let me put it up against that one there which is a 20 ounce Let's sort of compare them but yeah it's quite a bit it's quite a bit heavier it's got a lot of weight to that head on it i don't tend to use this for any sort of framing jobs or anything like that i, I really just use this for pure demolition really uh, i wouldn't say it's my favorite hammer to use but it's just got that really heavy head weight that you can just swing and bash things with break things up with i've not really treated this with a whole lot of respect over the years but it hasn't broken and it's kept giving so it's, i'd say that's a pretty good purchase what more could you want in a hammer uh, but yeah so it's been it's been a good buy i had no idea i had so many it's crazy though uh this is a plasterous hammer plaster is axe whatever you want to call it uh, days gone by instead of using the little drywall screws that we use now they used to do a lot of nailing so uh, it's got a nice waffle face on it and it's got the axe portion there it's a bit blunt and oh, it's got a bit of an edge on it uh, but I've ground that down quite a few times it's uh, 14 ounce they usually come in but what they lack in weight they've they've got sort of good length to them that you can really give a good swing with them and get a lot of momentum they're, they're nice to use just for general nailing and things they're, they're very good so bricklayer's hammer bricky's hammer whatever you want to call it this one's slowly being worn down i think it's probably lost about half an inch or an inch over the years this is uh this has really served me well for so many jobs absolutely brilliant for bashing mortar and and de yeah demolition chipping things away digging you name it this is this has had a pretty hard life as well uh cleaning up bricks yeah i love this my dad actually had a brickies hammer when i grew up that was his main hammer for so many years and he just had nothing but one of these just and he just used it for practically everything that required hitting did a whole lot of building and work around the house just with a, br a brick hammer like this so yeah nice to have nice to have This might not be the best looking out of all the hammers, but this particular one, I'd say, feels the best. It's got a really nice kind of rounded grip on the bottom, if you see that. It just, your hand just sinks into. And for some reason, when you hit with this, it just seems to take every little tiny bit of vibration out of it, as it says, but just a little bit more than all the others. Um, yeah, yeah, I'd say this is one of my favourites, even though it doesn't look the prettiest. It certainly works the one of the best. This one here. This has lived a lot in my toolbox. This was my main hammer for quite some time. I really like straight claws or rip claws, whatever you want to call them. And this one, yeah, this has travelled from toolbox to toolbox, this one. Another anti-vibe. 20 ounce. Yeah, it's been pretty good. I like having that sort of pick head on the end and I find that you can do a lot more prying. You can just rip skirting boards and things off, it's just trim and stuff. It's always good to have a straight claw hammer. Yeah, that's my anti-vibe hammers. Hope you've liked them. Uh, if you want any more content like this, please like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.